Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about the playmats and just go over a bunch of playmats I have as well as, you know, how I got them. So I've been playing a lot of um, draft and I guess I, I made a video where I said I didn't play standard, but I must have played standard. Uh, so this was obviously from the game day, oh for the Gatewatch game day, which was really fun. This is a very famous playmat on the channel. It is the Azula playmat, but it's sealed and it's the more expensive one. I know there's a cheaper version. I have the unsealed one here as well, the one that we use for channel. Courtois Vanguard playmat, because that's something I play. <laughs> I remember this app, and there was a lot of controversy about this playmat. Whether or not I accepted a uh, sponsorship or not. I'm not, I just bought a playmat because you told me to, but whatever. Uh, champion playmat, again, I am doing really well in top 8, so I have not done well in pre-releases. I've done extremely horrible in pre-releases, but top 8s. This was my first playmat, this one right here. Um, it has some stains from the uh, Odin days where <laughs> it's my first play It used to be a time that no one had playmats, which is really weird. Uh, this is kind of a famous playmat, so um, one of the, the monthly Magic Box one-time sent playmats, but these playmats on Dave and Adams were free. And this was one of the free playmats I got at Dave and Adams when you order enough. This is the most famous Azula, Azusa. I, have, I don't watch this, but this is pretty gorgeous. So I have two mats. I have one sealed and then one. A really funny story was I had the op. I think one of the contests was you could pick a fat pack or a sealed mat, and they picked a fat pack. So I, I thought they were going to pick the mat because the mat is actually more expensive than the fat pack. And then Weiss, so obviously Fairy Tail, I do watch that one. I'm getting more and more into this uh, Force of Will because the mats are gorgeous. They're like way better than Ultra Pro. They have uh, stitching, I, I guess. That's what I would say. Um, and now we're getting to uh, two of my favorite mats of all time. This one, which is hand drawn by Chris, and I really did wish that he had finished the Azula play mat, which didn't get finished. But you know what can you do? Because now I'm going to show you the Azula play mat. This one was also by Chris, hand drawn. And those were actually cheaper than my current uh, playmats that I'm getting. Uh, Darium, obviously a very nice. Um, definitely awesome to have the autographs on that. Oh, and another very famous mat on the channel. Obviously this mat, the most expensive playmat and Magic the Gathering history. I believe it is, don't kill me on that if it's not. And then this was when I was actually very good at Magic. I'm very casual now, so I don't really follow off. Uh, this was another Japanese playmat, which I'm not gonna show you. And then my newest one. It smells really bad, but it is gorgeous. Like, I don't know if you can see it. Um, the colors came out really good. So let me explain this playmat. So you have the castle, which is RWBY. You have the ro robe, or the, um, yeah, I guess it's a robe, um, from Ruby. Then you have Little Lion, then you have Azula, and then you have um, Blake's, Blake's, Yang, Weiss, and Ruby. So it came out really, really good. The next playmat we're gonna get is Liliana as an angel, uh, very Innistrad themed, and she'll have the sword from the Devil as a part timer, which is one of my favorite shows. I, I just highly suggest watching on Netflix. It's amazing. Really funny just to relax with and I watch it over and over again because it's pretty much my life. <laughs> um, and then the Balea, which is uh, gorgeous, but I may have one more of these, which is for me. Um, so anyway, those are playmats and I think it's really cool because every playmat has like its own story. I remember like so much about it and obviously I sent um, Dan a ton of these playmats, including one of my favorite playmats from Card by Vanguard, so it's really hard to let go of that one, but I kept sending him crappy playmats that had like no value, not no value, but like it has no relationship to the channel at all because I've never shown it to people. So I finally said, hey, you know what? I'm going to show you that playmat. So anyway, those are my playmats. Leave a comment. What was your favorite playmat? <laughs> anyway, bye guys.